the past, you've always given some credit for your success to the big guys up front, the way they tie up blockers. Now you lose two starting defensive linemen who started an awful lot of games over the last few years. How is the defense different with Taylor Thompson and Marquise Fraser gone and the new guys stepping into that role? It's different because, I mean, you already knew what they are going to be, what they was able to do, blockers they'll be able to take up. But with the new guys, we have more depth now. Like with, let's see, I think Wood coming up, he coming up like showing promises. Like every, like they start practice, he like making plays that we expect him to make just cause for him being so young. Then, let's see, we got Grenier back. There's a veteran, that's big for us. It's just like him taking the, the place of Taylor Thompson in a sense. Then, Let's see, who we got? We got Nick Reed, he's a young guy. He's looking real good down there in the trenches right now. I mean, right now, it just, it's just, it's still early to tell, but at the same time, you can tell like, we got like a lot more depth, a lot more people we can put in there and pull, pull the weight that somebody else probably can't. You just can't put the load that's all on one person. You mentioned Kevin Grenier, and opposing offenses already know what Torlin Pittman can do, because he's been starting. Mm -hmm. Marcus Hunt gets a ton of attention. Can Grenier sort of fly under the radar? Can he be better than some people think? Oh, yes, most definitely. Because before he got hurt, he was in a constant rotation with Marquise Fraser and um, Taylor Thompson. Before he ended up injured his shoulder, he was getting a lot of play time. He was always, always making plays in the backfield that nobody really knew who he was. But, yes, he definitely was flying the radar because we had toilet Pittman. And all the folks would be on Marcus Hunt. So, yes, he would get a lot of single blocks where he can make a lot of plays. Across the field from you last year, Stephon Sanders came in about halfway through the year and really came on down the stretch. Now that he's got a little experience, who benefits more? You, every, the offenses know about you, so is he going to have more free, free run to the quarterback? Or now that he's emerging, will you have a little more room than you were used to? I think we will all benefit. Because with him, he's a, he's a definite threat. He's, if not a bigger threat than I am on my side of the ball. And that he they gonna have to block it. If not, he'll be in the backfield making sack, making two, three sacks a game easily. So with him bringing the pressure that he brings on his side of the ball, it, it makes people have to single block Marcus Hunt or single block Toilet Pit. They can't do that. If you single block Toilet Pit, Marcus Hunt, or even me, that's that's bad. It's, it's gonna be a long game for your quarterback. So to the casual fan, they look at you. They look at Stephon Sanders. You see two guys who can hit two guys who can run, two guys who like to get to the passer. How are you different than Stefan? How am I different? I'm a lot more vibrant. <laughs> Self fun, more laid back type of guy, but I like to laugh, joke all the time, cut up and smile. Y'all see me smiling. Stefan, more mellow, laid back, in the, in the shadows type of guy. What about on the field? Are you sort of clones of each other on the bookends or are you are there subtle differences that don't necessarily pop out uh, to, to observers who watch you for, play for the first time? Honestly, I see stuff on like is almost identical to me. For the most part. What's up, Carlos? Well, like, honestly, cause most, I, me personally, I call him like my son because like, we do so much stuff similar. Where we, like, our, where we look at, approach things, where we attack things. But we sit back and let stuff develop before we just act, we react to certain type of type of things. So I think we're a lot, lot, a lot alike. So you got a lot of speed coming from the outside, whether it's you and Stefan or Margus up front. Then you've got Pitt, Cameron, T. Reed in the middle. In the front seven, where's the strength of this defense coming from the outside or up the middle? Ooh, it's big. I mean, we all like help each other out, really. It's not, not not one spot where we I can just say we weak at in the front seven. Cause on the inside we got solid play from Taylor Reed and Cameron and Cameron, who a lot of people really let's go on the radar, but he makes a lot of plays for us all the time. You can always catch Cameron making plays all around the ball. Everybody just overlooking because they're always talking about me or Stefan or T. Reed or Marcus, but Cameron makes a lot. Like he helps, he saves us. I tell a lot. Why? Why does he go under the radar? Is he not flashy enough? Yeah, I, that's what I, was, I would say. He's not flashy. He's just the guy who always you can count on 
whenever he, some need somebody to be in the right spot, right time, Cameron would be there all the time. Coach Mason and Coach Herring have talked about how this linebacker group is not only talented, but really deep. You're two or three deep across the board. Is it more effective to go with the starting four, or should there be a rotation of guys bringing fresh legs in all game long? I would say a, a rotation, so you can keep the keep everybody fresh. Like the starters, like when it get down to the wire, four quarters. I know, especially at the start of the season, like when you have games where everybody's just tired, legs run down, having a constant rotation keeps the um, everybody's legs fresh, so everybody won't be as tired, be able to make the plays and come in the fourth quarter time. Is that hard for you to say though? Because being as competitive as you are, you never want to come off the field, right? It's hard to say, but in a sense, it's it's better for the team because you don't want nobody out there on the field that's tired, can't make, can barely take a step. They don't make make a play on the ball, so it's better for the team that we do. Like we rotate, which I don't. Me personally, no, I would never like to come out of the game, but it's better for we rotate. When you look at all that depth either the young guys who were in a reserve role last year or even the newcomers who are here for the first time. Who impresses you out of the, out of the young backups? Ooh, it, I mean, it's so many in the name, honestly. Because Jenga's looking, is coming on, looking more and more like his brother. Or like, as his field play, I mean, Seal's my backup. He's looking starter ready. I mean, we got, <laughs> we got young Pruitt and Lincoln, they looking... Real good out there. You can tell they, there's a lot of raw talent right now. I, if we mold them with technique, they will, they will blow what I done here out the water, hands down.